Hey, thanks for stopping by. So in this video, I'm going to show you what to look for to identify fake from real polo by Ralph Lauren. So whether you're in a thrift store, flea market, street vendor in a foreign country, you'll be able to know that the item you're about to purchase is real and not fake. Okay, one of the first things to look at is the label. So we always look at when we're buying clothing. The label should be neatly stitched, straight, flat, and level. Here are examples of the vintage style. And here's another picture of a different type, but more towards the vintage with the blue with the white stitching. You see it's nice and flat and level. And now here is a more modern with the blue with the yellow stitching. Again, nice stitching, Polo Ralph Lauren, consistency. Now here's an example of a fake counterfeit. Look at the stitching along the top and bottom, especially towards the right side. It is all crinkled up and not even. That is a good indicator of a fake. Here is another fake, different style of label, but again, look at the stitching. The left side is all crinkled, the bottom is crinkled, and some of the top. You won't find that with real. And if we look at the back of the blue shirt of the fake, at the stitching of the label, you can see how uneven it is. See how on the right side it's up towards the top of the seam, and then it kind of rises, and it goes down real low. Strong indicator of a fake quality. Products are not going to have uneven stitching like that. The next thing to look at is the size tag. As you see in these pictures, they're all the same consistent color as the main tag, and they are all to the right of that label. And here are two photos of fakes. It has a white below the tag, and this one has a white to the right. So those are indicators of fakes. The next thing to look for is the iconic logo of the polo player on the horse. They should be clear. As you've seen this one, you can see the reins of the horse, the mallet, the polo player, the legs are all defined. And depending on the color, some might stand out more than others. Here again, you could basically see all the detail in it. This one again, these are all different colors, but you can see the detail, clean stitching. This one is off of a hat. Now here is the one off of fake. It screams bad stitching. The mallet is not even straight. There's not much detail. You don't see the reins. It's just really obvious that this is a fake. Okay, and here's another fake. This one has a little more detail. You can almost see the straight line of a rein, which is not really it. The mallet is not great. It's just also pretty obvious that this is a fake. Now here, if we put the two side by side, it's really evident which is the fake and which is the real. So, pretty obvious, easy to spot. And if you're unsure by the outside, flip them over and look at the back side. The stitching should be neat not have a lot of excess and pretty trimmed up. Here's the back side of the fake, not much detail to be seen, a little excess trim. And again, if we do a side-by-side -side comparison, big difference between the fake on the left and the real on the right. One last thing you can check is this consistency in stitching. If we look at the shoulder seam that wraps around under the armpit this is, this side it almost matches up, it's pretty close. But then if we go and we look at the other side, I mean, look how far off that is, it's not even close. That is a strong, strong indicator of this bad workmanship and fake product. So if you follow these few things that I showed you, you should be confident to know that the item you're buying is real and not fake. Thanks for watching.